up guys, it's Napo H. Barista and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I make my iced lavender latte. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, let's get started with 8 ounces of water and 16 ounces or 2 cups of cane sugar. Okay, now that we have our ingredients together, let's go to the stove and start the process. I'm going to go ahead and add the cane sugar first. This is two cups or 16 ounces. Basically for my syrups, I like to use a one to two ratio. I like my syrups to be a little bit thicker. Let me turn on my heat, set to a medium. This pot I primarily use for syrups only, just so that it's not tainted with other flavors. And if I do use it for something else, then I would just clean it really, really well right afterwards to make sure that none of the flavors or oils from food stay stuck to the walls of this pot. And basically from here till all the sugar has dissolved, I keep stirring so that it melts evenly, but also I don't want it to burn. I don't want any burnt flavors or anything like that happening with this syrup. Now, as the sugars begin to caramelize, you're gonna see that this surface gets a little bit darker and darker and you'll also feel the texture change it starts getting thicker and thicker I know you see like a white frosting on top of here that'll disappear once all the sugar has dissolved and cooled so we just continue here in the circular motion until we have a clear spoon of liquid syrup okay it's been a couple of minutes and I'm starting to have less sugar here in this spoon and the texture is starting to thicken. Okay, I'm starting to feel the temperature rise and like a sizzle. That means that this is coming to a boil. I'm gonna lift the pot off the heat just to control that. So although we're adding flavors to coffee, which is not a specialty coffee thing, we wanna make sure we're using the best products and just doing it the right way. Yeah, that's nice and clear. I can go ahead and stop now. Okay guys, we're back at the table now. This is how it looks now. It's only been a couple of minutes, but as you can see, it's clearing up as it cools down. It's also pretty thick. This is a cupping spoon. Perfect. At this point, when it's warm, you're gonna also wanna have um, several spoons with you. I have five with me now, because as you taste this, you don't wanna add your germs to the syrup, so you wanna just use different spoons. That is super delicious. If you don't find that good, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> this product is by Star KY and it's pure lavender extract. I picked this up at Whole Foods as well. Here it is. So that's it right there. So I have my lavender syrup here. I do have a specific recipe, but I won't be sharing that. So what I'm gonna say is add a little bit to taste. I know, I know, I know, but you know. I have to protect my little recipe. We have just a little over 16 ounces of syrup. You can put this on a scale and then measure how much lavender you're putting into the mix. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, lavender is really strong, so you don't want to put a lot. I added a little bit of lavender syrup and the scale didn't even pick it up. Now I can taste the lavender. I could definitely use a little bit more. Yeah, I like to do this while it's warm so that the flavors distribute evenly. Just a pinch more. Now, when I taste this syrup, I like to think of violet lavender candies. They were like lavender mints. That's kind of like the flavor you get when you make this syrup. That's good. It's good because it's not overbearing in lavender flavor. The sweetness is there. You won't need to add any sugar to this drink, obviously. You want a nice, subtle beverage a refreshing beverage and if you put too much lavender it's gonna take away from that specialty nuance okay at this point all that's left to do is yeah. so we'll put the lid on now we'll keep this refrigerated so that it stays fresh after I'll say an hour or two you can go ahead and start using this for your beverages so stay tuned all right guys so without further ado Let's get started with the iced lavender latte. Here's what you're going to need. First, you're gonna need some delicious coffee. This is coffee that I roasted just a few days ago. It may be too fresh for espresso, but it's the only thing I got, so I'm gonna run with it. The next thing you're gonna need is some milk. This is organic grass-fed milk. It tastes very good. You're gonna also need some ice. 
You're gonna need a plastic cup, lid, straw. Last but not least, you're gonna also need your lavender syrup. Let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna work on the espresso. To do that, I have to load the hopper. All right, purge the grinder a little bit. Okay, let's clean this up. Let's go ahead. 19.1 grams. Mmm, smells good. Typically, I like to put anywhere between 15 to 20 grams of the lavender syrup in my shot. I'm gonna just aim right in the middle of that at 18. 18.5, that's close enough for me. So we got 18.5 grams of lavender syrup inside this small pitcher here. I'm now gonna pull the shot into this syrup. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir. And we're gonna go ahead and add the milk. Add the espresso. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. Cup. Add the ice. Take it. Always do this. All right. So this is it. This is the iced lavender latte. It's very delicious. Can't go wrong with this. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys, this is it. Thanks for watching. This is the iced lavender latte. It's the way I make it. I'll encourage you to try it at home. It's really delicious. It costs basically nothing and it's going to definitely bring some attention to your pop-up coffee bar. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Whoa.